Salute to everybody coming in right now. Y'all hit the like button if you haven't already. It's been real responded to Choke No Joke. And I gotta say, man, this was a heartfelt live stream. Um, it always strikes me well, man, when you see a brother that has the real passion. A brother that really, really have a love for what he doing. And it don't seem like it's about the clout. It don't seem like it's about um, me. Me, as you see with like Choke No Joke, everything is I, I, I. One thing I learned in life is to never trust a man that everything is about I. Everything is, I did this, I did that. Especially when you're speaking on another woman's story when it should be about her. It should be about she, her, she did this, or she want that. Just to read the story, her story. Um, a lot of times when you see these men, especially men like Choke No Joke, um, this is a brother that um, he wanted to be at the light of anything that was involved in Jessica Reed. That's almost, it seems as though he wanted to own her story. It's her story, my brother. When you see It's Been Real, take the live stream and speak with passion. But one thing that stuck with me is the brother said he's teaching her how to own her story. The film that he's doing, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this brother said he's giving all the ownership to her. What's more honorable though, I can find the greatness in dudes or, or real good dudes that move the same direction and do it as this honorable. Um, a lot of times I'm able to catch it from a mile away or see it from a mile away. You can see that this brother really has a passion for what he's doing. And it's all about trying to grow the story. One thing about Choke No Joke, I feel as though, brother, and I said it before, and I'm only going to say it one more time. I think you got a lot better, or you would have done a lot better by uh, saluting this brother. Hey, brother, I took the story this far. Certain other things that I may have left out, you may want to add this in your story. If there's any way you need me, brother, help you with the process, or just put my little two cent in. Um, I was tied to it before. I'll help you the best way I can. If not, I wish you well. Salute. Do your thing, my brother. I think at that point, is where you would have started to gain the respect of another filmmaker and said, yeah, you're right, brother, you did, you did do that. And I did take a little bit of whatever you got and you come together. If it's two brothers in the same industry, the film industry, you're a brother that have already filmed the story. This is another brother that's taking a baton and taking it to the next level or trying to do his version of taking it to the next, next level. level, all for the betterment or the good of Jessica Reed, her story. Why would you have a problem with another brother that's doing the same thing you did, um, but just trying to put his spin on it? But it's all about getting her message out. Why would this brother have to take down his video? They got 400,000 viewers um, because you wanted it to be about you and your story. You used a piece of my work. So it's like you wanted some type of credit for something that this brother put his spin on. And he said he got 400,000 views in a matter of four or five days. It goes to show you the distaste that we see in our community. But I just want to say this. And I'm going to get into a little bit of our clips. Like I say, it's been real, bro. If it's a problem, you know where to find me. You know how to, uh, you got direct access to me. If it's a problem, I delete it. But I just want to show the people um, some of the passion that you're seeing from this brother. And, and just looking into the eyes of which he showed us, the viewers, on his live stream. I, I, it's very rare that I sit around and watch a person's whole live stream. But... From the beginning of the live stream, you could tell this one was going to be a little bit different. And this brother had a passion for what he was about to say. That's what I'm into. I'm into the passion side to see that it's real what these brothers are saying. I'm able to look into the peak of a brother's soul and say, this yeah, coming from real. a real place. One thing he said, choke no joke, and I'm sure you didn't do this. I know you didn't do this. I'm almost confident you didn't do this because one thing we know about our community, a lot of guys are selfish. You didn't get that woman ownership of her story. This brother said he feminine doing what he doing and he's letting Jessica have control of her own story. What's more honorable than that? But we're going to do it different this time. This time, I don't want any man to ever be able to hold any footage over your head. I want you to own your own story. We're going to shoot this, Jessica. You're going to own it, Jessica. You're going to put it on your own YouTube channel, Jessica. And then anybody can take any clip they want of it because that's what she wanted in the first place from day one. My father um, contracted the HIV virus. Um, he was a drug user. 
and um, he ended up getting HIV from the drug use and the HIV, um, I'm sorry. I hate talking about dad, I swear to God. Okay. Yeah, um, I guess my mom, she was overwhelmed and she just wanted a fresh start after everything that happened with my father. So she decided to move to Somerville. Well, actually, Charleston, South Carolina. We moved to Charleston first. Um, be a special type of person that don't see that little clip that he showed us um, with a great heart or a heavy heart to say, man, this brother is really doing the work to help this young lady get her story out and see the passion in Jessica Reed. Um, just from a woman's standpoint. Um, I look at it as though these brothers is all, and this sister, it's all honorable because it's it, it's a Jessica Reed somewhere in your city right now. A young lady that just want to be heard. Right? But the problem that I have, and I just want to say this. Choke no joke. Um, one thing about the music industry. They come to our community to get one of our artists and sell it back to our community. They come, get our artists, get our young, get our youth, get our talented um, um, black artists. Sign them and sell it back to our community. They take them from our community to sell it back to our community. I say all that to say, you let that Mexican truck driver, you let a Mexican truck driver hype you up, they come at your brother. Your, your, your skin folk, you know, all skin folk ain't kin folk, but at the same time, you let a Mexican that's outside of our community tell you what's disgusting. What's this? What's that? You let somebody on the outside, and I don't know, no disrespect to his nationality, I don't know if he, whatever he is, somebody outside our community to come hype you up to, to double down on your disdain for it's been real. A study saying, you know what, bro, I might have been wrong the first time, man, it, it was my film. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I see this time you further in it, bro. I was wrong. Salute to what you're doing. If you need me anyway, I'm here. Instead of doing that, you let somebody outside our community, a Mexican truck driver, hype up you up to come at their own. Again, this goes to show you the plague or the di or, or the, the dysfunction we have in our community as a Pack whole. that for a minute and just listen how crazy we sound at times. Look how we make ourselves look into which where someone that's not in our community can hop in a truck and tell us what's distasteful. And, and yeah, you're right. You know, every, this 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 brother here, he was saying some real, like his words was Bible almost. It's that easy for us to listen to anybody else. Um, listen to the words of the other just to be able to come at and shoot down a brother. To shoot down a brother, you will listen to the other. That's what we deal with in our community. It's distasteful at times. It's disheartening at times. But at the end of the day, I hope one day um, our brothers will be able to build together. Now, that's what well, this was two filmmakers, and I'm sure it's been real in the mind. And for Brother Cain with respect, um, taking his input, trying to put a spin on it, or even let him be involved with the second uh, film of, or documentary of a Jessica Reed. Um, if Choke No Joke showed him that, brother. I'm really someone that like what you're doing, Russell Lou, what you're doing. And if you need me, I want to be a part of it. The story is about Jessica Reed, um, but we lose focus with guys like Choke No Joke that always seems to think about me, 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 I. And study who it's truly about, which is Jessica Reed. Each one teach one as long as we have each other continue to grow together. Um, I use a little bit of your clips, bro. If you got a problem with it, you know where to find me. We'll take this video back down. No big deal either way. I just want to do my part in furthering what the brother was trying to say on his live stream. Y'all can go check it out right now on his page. It's been real. Salute to what you did, brother. Salute to the documentary. Jessica Reed, I wish well over your family. Um, and we move on from here.